Welcome, today we'll be going through the IBA Marketplace setup and usage. So the prerequisites for the IBA Marketplace are to make sure that you have the profit track version of 3.11.5 or higher, which you can tell by looking at the version number in the bottom right of your profit track system. The other thing you need to make sure of is that you have the online shopping in your registration. So to check this, you double click on the server arrows in the bottom right, click on file in the top left, enter registration details, and scroll through your license packages. If online shopping isn't in this list, you may need to check IS or call Independent Solutions to have it added to your license. We also need to create an account and tender for the online sales to go against. We'll go through creating these shortly. So the last prerequisite is to run the installer. The installer is available on all systems on 3.11.5 or higher in C, Program Files x86, Independent Solutions, ProfitTrack Server, Installs. And then you need to install the ptmf install.msi which is a next next type install in which you can just follow the prompts. You will need to restart the ProfitTrack client once you've done that though. From here, go into your accounts tab, click on customers and then click on add. Fill out the customer number. We're going to use 1001 for this video. And then we fill out the information. This doesn't need to have a specific name. However, for the sake of clean reporting, we do recommend it be something sensible or make sense for the situation. Something like online shopping or IBA marketplace. From here, we need to create a tender. To do this, we click on Setup, Edit Lookup Tables, Register Tables, Register Tenders. We add a new one, choose the next number in sequence. For us, this will be 13. Update the description to something relevant. We'll use IBA Marketplace. Change the tender type to Other Charge and change the tender approval to None. And then we'll click on Save. Once that's done, we can move on to the actual integrations. For the actual integration, we click on Setup, Integration, Online Shopping, select the drop down box and click on the IBA Marketplace, tick the box to enable it if it's not already enabled. From here we click on Search in Step 1 to bring up the account we created, 1001, and then we click OK. In Step 2 we click on the drop down and choose the tender we created. We skip Step 3, that can stay as it is, and move on to Step 4. In Step 4 the information that is pre-filled doesn't need to be changed. You will need to input the rest of the data, such as the API key, store ID, site ID, and security token. To get these, you'll need to chat to your contact from Metcash for your IBA integration. Once all the information is filled out, click on Test. Once that is tested, it will put ticks against everything that is working. If everything has a tick, click on Save. Then go into Shop, and we need to mark the items that will be available online. So to do this, we go into the Items, and click on the stock tab and then click on available on internet website. Now you can do this en masse through the set selected function. If you need more information on how set selected works, click on the video that's linked in the top left now. There we go. The IBA integration is now set up. From here, we'll show you what it looks like when it's actually in use. So to show this, I'm going to do it from point to point. So this will be from where your customer orders an item on the website and how that translates to profit track. So on the shop, my local website, I'm going to bring up and buy an Eagle Hawk 750ml Shiraz. We'll use that as the test product throughout this video. I'll input the postcode 1234 for the test system. We'll select the store, which is Test01, and then we'll add it to our card. So from here, I'll check out and we'll fill out with the credit card information for the test system. I am going to blur this information out. So the website will go through and process this card, at which point I'll get an order confirmation, as you can see on the screen. Now, at this point, if we go back into Profit Track, into the Accounts tab and click on Invoices, drop down to the Online Store Invoices, we'll see that we have a new invoice. This means we can click on Set Invoice and click on Edit to make changes such as a substitution, which is where we would swap an item for the one that's requested if there was one that was out of stock. So to substitute, click on the Substitute button and a search window will come up. From there, you can search the item that will do the substitution and select it. In this case, we'll use Bailey's as the example. It is worth noting that if you substitute a more expensive item than the original, it will decrease the sell price to the price that the original item was bought at. For example, the Eagle Hawk Shiraz was $9.99. The Bailey's is approximately $30. However, you can see here that the sell price hasn't changed because it's already been paid for at the $9.99. 
Alternatively, if you choose a cheaper item than what was purchased, the sell price will go down to match the sell price of the substituted item. For example, in this case, that would be where we have the Eagle Hawk Shiraz and we swap it out for something like a Vodka Cruiser, which is typically around $3 or $4. It would go down to that $3 or $4 mark. Once you are happy with this, you can dispatch it by clicking on the Dispatch and Finalize and it will clear the invoice from the screen. The picking slip is there. I'm going to just gloss over this a little bit. That will print out a slip of paper. It's generally for the bigger orders so that your staff can go around and go, okay, we've picked four of this item, three of this item, so on, so on. It's to help make things smooth from a picking, point, a picking process. That is a basic overview on how to process it from the profit track end. I will show you really quickly that if you go into the My Account on the website and go to the One Outstanding Order, you'll see it clear from the website once it's processed from profit track. So that is how to process an invoice for online ordering. So let's talk about a few things to keep in mind when it comes to profit track integration to the website. Whenever there's a sell price change or stock change on an item, the item will go pending to update the website. This will be sent to the website every minute by default. So you may need to refresh the website once or twice to see the update come up. Specials on an item also come up on the website and I'll actually show you how this works. So if we go in a shop and we'll just bring up the Eagle Hawk product, because that's our example, we can see here that the sell price on the item is $9.99. If we then go into the specials tab and create a special for $7.50 and click on save, this will also go to the website. As we just said though, you will need to wait for up to a minute, even sometimes a few seconds longer, for it to update. On the website, when you go into the item, you'll see the old price with a line through it and the new special price in red. When you sell this item, it will decrement from the stock value that's in your shop. So that's how you set up your IBA integration, how it works when it is set up, and a few tidbits about how it works. If you like this video and want to see more, like, subscribe, and press the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content.